Module 4, Lesson 7, Objective, Multiply Any Whole Number by a Fraction Using Tape Diagrams. Let's start with this problem. We have Gina has a dozen carnations. Of these, one-third are yellow and the rest are pink. How many pink carnations did she buy? We know that one dozen equals how many? Right, 12. And then so we have 12 carnations total, and that is our whole amount. So if we are looking at a tape diagram, 12 represents the whole, and that's the 12 carnations. Now, we're looking at this here. It says one-third are yellow and the rest are pink, meaning that we are going to separate this tape diagram into three parts. For these parts here, it says one-third are yellow, meaning a third of the whole is yellow and the rest are pink. That means these other two then, and these other two-thirds, are pink. We know that there's three units here, and three units equals the 12. So that one of the units does equal we divide by 3 here, divide by 3 there. We have 12 divided by 3, which equals 4. And then so 1 unit is equal to 4. Now, that means that this, the yellow carnations is 4, and each of these two pink ones are also, units are also 4. So if we were to write that out, that's 2 thirds of the whole, which was 12, does equal 4 and 4, which is 8. There are 8 pink carnations that Gina bought. Here I have another problem. Three-fifths of a number is 12. What is the number? This problem's different in that we know how much three-fifths of the number is, but we don't know the actual number. In other words, we don't know the, the wholes. So three-fifths of a number is only a part of the whole. We can still draw the tape diagram, and in this case, we don't know the holes, and that's why that's the question mark. Our fractional part is three-fifths. Is it the three or the five that lets us know how many parts we divide our fraction bar into? Right, the denominator. We're looking at fifths, so we'll draw four lines there. We have three-fifths of the number equaling 12. So if we look at three of those fifths, three of those fifths does equal 12. Now if we work that out, we know then that three units, one unit, two unit, three units, does equal 12. That means one unit is equal to 12 over 3. Divide both sides by 3 there. So 1 unit is equal to 12 thirds, and 12 thirds does equal 4. Now we're looking at, that's 12 then, but we need to figure out the whole there. In other words, we need to figure out 1 unit, 2 unit, 3 unit, 4 unit, 5 units to figure out the whole there. So 5 units is equal to that 4 times the 5, which equals 20 then. So the number is 20. 
Let's check that. Does 3 fifths of 20 equal 12? Does it equal 12? Well, let's see. 20, and then if we have 1 fifth of 20, that's 20 divided by 5, which equals 4. And then we're looking at 3 of those 4, so that's 4 times 3, which does equal 12. 3 fifths of 20 does equal 12. So the number is 20. Here's a similar problem for you to try. We have 2 sevenths of a number equaling 12, and what's the number? Pause that video, work it out. So there's the whole, that would be the number. We're looking at sevenths. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 lines for 7 parts there, and it says 2 sevenths of it is 12. So we know that 2 units equals 12. One of those units, then, is equal to 12 over 2, which does equal 6. Let's write those in. And then all we're doing there is we're looking at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 sixes, then. We have 7 units because 7 sevenths makes up that whole, 7 units equaling 7 times the 6, which does equal 42. So the number is 42. Give yourself a pat on the back if you got it right. Otherwise, look this over and figure out where it is that you made your mistake. And then you can give yourself a pat on the back. Here we have another problem. Molly had 32 feet of ribbon. She used one-third of it to decorate her poster. How much ribbon did she have left? All right. Let's write it out. She had blank feet of ribbon left. Using a tape diagram. And it looks like she had 32 feet of ribbon, and then she used a third of it, and then how much did she have left? Meaning we know the whole. So we have our tape diagram, we know the whole. And there, so our whole amount is 32 feet. We also have a fractional part here where it says she used one third of it to decorate her poster. So we divide this fraction bar into thirds. Then what? Hmm, it says how much did she have left? So, a third of it was to decorate her poster. How much did she have left? Then she would have this amount left here, which is the question mark. It looks like she would have two units of it left. It says one-third of it, so we're looking at one-third of 32. So the amount that she uses for her poster would be one-third of 32. Now, as we work through this, we're looking at the same things here as before. We're looking at three units of it. One, two, three. Three units of it equals the 32. That way, one unit of it, which would be the one-third of 32, equals 32 over 3. Divide by 3 on both sides. 32 thirds, if we use a standard algorithm approach, we would end up getting 1 there for the tens place. 3 minus 3 is 0. Bring down the 2 there. And we can't divide that 2, that's why we put a 0 in the 1's place. Now, if we were able to divide that 2, we would have divided it by 3, so our answer is 10 and 2 thirds. So 1 unit actually equals 10 and 2 thirds feet. Now, we're looking, though, how many she had left. 
So that would be two units of 10 and 2 thirds. So we have 10 and 2 thirds times 2, and we could also just add them together. That would equal 20 and 4 thirds, which does equal 21 and 1 third feet of ribbon left. Now, some of you might have looked at this and said, okay, well, we could just take 21 and subtract 10 and 2 thirds from it. We could do that. And we would also end up with 21 and 1 third as long as we did our subtraction correctly. So breaking apart problems is as simple as looking at them, deciding, yes, I can use a tape diagram, thinking about whether we're looking at holes or we're looking at fractional parts, and going through your steps and procedures to be able to solve the correct answers and expressing that solution carefully.